Due to its location as a bridge among continents, Turkey's climatic and geographical characteristics change at short intervals. As a result, it has acquired the traits of a small continent in terms of biodiversity and covers the Caucasus, Iran Anatolian, and Mediterranean hotspots, which are among the 36 biodiversity hotspots defined globally as well as their transition zones. This extraordinary diversity in ecosystems and habitats has resulted in remarkable diversity of species. The conservation and sustainability of these resources are critical for the genetic resources of our country as well as the diversity of species and ecosystems. Turkey extends over a surface area of 780,043 square kilometers and approximately 7% of the terrestrial land is designated as protected areas. Our natural biodiversity is under pressure. However, human pressure that has been increasing in the last century, as well as other pressures such as urban development, the overuse of natural resources, pollution, climate change and land use change led to the loss and degeneration of the habitat and have a negative impact on biodiversity, ecosystem services, the economy and human health. Invasive alien species contribute to this pressure as well. What are alien species and how are they introduced to our country? Species that are transported to areas outside their natural range because of a variety of factors are called alien species. Alien species that harm nature, native species, human health and the economy through their settlement and invasion are known as invasive alien species. As in the case around the world, invasive alien species are now regarded as one of the most important threats to biodiversity in Turkey. These species might be introduced to our country unintentionally, for instance through trade, travel and transportation, or intentionally through the introduction of fish regarding to fish farm stock breeding, aquaculture, landscaping and aquarium trade. Alien species pose a threat in that they carry parasites, transmit diseases, cause genetic defects and endanger endemic species by competing with them and invading their habitat and niches. 14 of the 100 most dangerous invasive alien species identified by the IUCN are found in Turkey. The General Directorate of Nature Conservation and National Parks of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry initiated a new project to combat this important threat. Addressing of invasive alien species threats in terrestrial areas and inland waters in Turkey project. The main objectives of the project are to identify the threats posed by invasive alien species, prevent their entry, control and manage them, mitigate or eliminate their impact, ensure that they are no longer a pressure factor on natural species and habitats and monitor them. The target species of the project are Burr Cucumber Red-Ringed Parakeet Red-Eared Slider Nutria Prussian Carp Mosquito Fish Addressing of invasive alien species threats in terrestrial areas and inland waters in Turkey project is now being implemented with a view to strengthen the infrastructure in our country for this priority issues. The project will be carried out in selected pilot areas, co-funded by the European Union and the Republic of Turkey. The project will be run by the General Directorate of Nature Conservation and Natural Parks of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in cooperation with relevant governmental institutions as well as universities, non-governmental organizations, municipalities and local people. The project is divided into four components. 1. The establishment of an effective national policy framework. 2. The management and elimination of the six selected invasive alien species. 3. The establishment of capacity building and information sharing system. 4. Raising public awareness. Being the first project on invasive alien species supported by the European Union, 
the project will be completed in three years. While contributing to the achievements of the Aichi Biodiversity Targets of the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Sustainable Development Goals, this important project will also serve to raise awareness on the conservation of our biodiversity that supports our national economy.